Larry Hoffman here with LJH Investments, and I just wanted to walk you through a performing note that I made an offer on. It's actually in uh, Jackson, uh, Mississippi. And so the property details is it's a two bedroom, one bath home. It was built in 1950. It uh, has a square foot of 768. It has a fair market value of 32,000. Now the Zillow value, you know, it's, I've seen them way off and I've seen them on. So 32,000, you kind of take it at face value. Um, I, I won't really know until I order a BPO and do a title search on it. That's as if that's, um, if this offer is, ex is accepted. Now uh, the note details on this property, it's a contract for deed. It has a first position lien. It has 15 years on the term. Uh, it has an interest rate of 9%, and it currently has a principal and interest payment of $136.93. There are 109 payments, uh, you know, 109.95, which is roughly, you know, a little under 10 years, right? Just under 10 years. Um, so, and then the it has an unpaid principal balance of $10,228.49 which gives you a loan to value of 31.96, so roughly 32%. So the loan to value is the, um, uh, the unpaid principal balance, divide that by the 32,000, that gives you the, the 30, 31.96. And then I actually made an offer on this property at $7,300. And so, and, and what this is, uh, is it gives you an investment to value of 22.81%. So you take the 70, 7,300, you divide that by the, th the 32,000, and that, that'll get you to 22.81, you know, roughly 23%. Both numbers are pretty good, um, you know, and then there's plenty of equity um, just in case something does go awry. But, you know, there's only, um, it, it is a performing note, and, you know, the unpaid principal balance is, is you know, roughly $10,000 and some change. So, you know, they've been paying on it for a very long time. So if you look at the numbers, you would think that the yield is, uh, with, with me offering the $7,300 on the $10,228, it'll give me an 18.21% uh, yield. But you also have to factor in the due diligence cost of $750. Um, what I do is I have a, um, an attorney, uh, you know, we'll get the collateral files. And, and so the collateral files are just digital collateral files of everything that's associated with the note, uh, the agreement, the all the allonges. Uh, the, since it's a, a contract for deed, there'll be a uh, quick claim deed, a seller's in, assignment of seller's interest. Um, so, you know, I just have to make sure that, you know, whoever bought and sold it, that everything is in order, all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. So I review that um, initially and then I send it off to my attorney um, to, to look at that. And then I also order a BPO and a title search on it. So, you know, roughly I'm into it for about $750. And then what most investors don't do is they don't factor in their servicing cost of $15 a month. So on this loan, like if, if you were to factor in the, uh, servicing cost of about 15 bucks, your, your yield, if, if I were to pay, uh, you know, if like par for it the $10,228.49 interest rate, but you back out $15 uh, for servicing costs on this guy, which will give you what, $121. Um, so when you do that, your yield actually jumps down to like six point, what is it like 6.4, 6.3, something on along those lines. So you, you definitely have to factor in, you know, your, um, your, your servicing cost on this. So, you know, I did, uh, you also have to factor in force place insurance in this particular case, because it's a performing doc or a performing, uh, note, there is insurance on it. Um, I'm assuming there's insurance on it, right? So until you get the, uh, until I get the collateral files, if they accept this offer until I, I, I get those collateral files, I won't really know. Um, and then Worst case scenario, if there wasn't insurance on there, then I would pay the first place insurance. Then my offer would go down by, you know, three, four, five hundred bucks uh, for a year. Um, 
and then uh, in this case the taxes I checked the taxes they they uh, they were paid and when you actually add everything up and, and calculate everything so my actual yield on this is 12.2 percent so it's a pretty good yield um, that's is is if they accept it accept my offer at seventy three hundred dollars so what's my exit strategy I'm gonna actually hold on to this um, until uh, they pay it off uh, and I'm gonna buy this in my self-directed IRA um, these small little loans are great for a self-directed um, IRA uh, I do use private money um, but typically when it's under a 10-year note uh, I do not just because the short the, the time frame is too short um, and the payments are going more towards principal than they are uh, interest so that that loan is being paid down relatively quickly so uh, in, in this particular example I'm going to actually buy this in my self-directed IRA if they accept my offer and so with that I just like I said I just want to you know give you a real quick uh, analysis on uh, on a note that I just made an, I well I made an offer on the other day so I'm waiting to hear back so if you have any questions uh, about that or if you're looking to put your lazy assets to work uh, maybe you have a 401k that's now a 101k and you know then, and then with the with inflation that's happening right now you you know your bank certificate your bank CD is, is really turning into a certificate of disappointment uh, please feel free to reach out to me you can call me on my uh, my phone there my cell 513-301-1468 or you can shoot an email to me or if you want a uh, you know schedule a 30-minute call just go to talkwithlarryhoffman.com uh, there you'd be able to schedule a 30-minute uh, call with me Ch uh, go over on LinkedIn check me out uh, Lawrence J Hoffman jr. Uh, on LinkedIn um, there I post a lot of information on deals that I'm doing deals that I'm analyzing uh, articles newsletters so that way you're just kind of kept in the know um, regarding the, the deals that I'm, that I'm currently doing and and or if uh, you can just go check me out on my my website there ljhinvestments.com I hope this was inform uh, informative to you I hope you guys have a really great day and uh, thanks for for taking the time to watch this